Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome, my dear nerds, back to another Kingdom Rush challenge. Can I beat it on Veteran with just Barbarians and Ingvar Bearclaw? Now, there is quite a hurdle, aka this level, that you need to conquer to beat this. This has been ridiculous. That's just one of many failures. You will see. I'm just, you know, all the other levels up to this point, they're easy. For my other video where I tried to beat this whole game with just barracks, you can see how I do all those videos. I didn't want to waste your time. I just wanted to show you the juicy stuff, the good stuff, like these gargoyles just destroying me. I don't want to waste your time with the spiders and the easy stuff. But I keep failing. This is how I've been spending my upgrades. And I'm like, there's there's no possible other way. Like, why even try anything else? You need to kill those high armored guys with the meteors, right? But finally, after many, many attempts, I'm like, okay, I don't want to give up yet. So I'm going to try this upgrade path. I want to see how it does. So because paladins aren't allowed, I can't use them on this level. So beating this level on veteran with Ingvar, who obviously can't shoot down any of the gargoyles or anything. I mean... He's good at other stuff, but he can't do that. So you have to max out the spear upgrades. That's a non-negotiable, okay? That's a given. So I had an idea. Um, thanks to help from one of my other friends with a YouTube channel who I'll show in a little bit. The idea was spend my upgrades to max out to the very end of upgrading your barracks. Because the spiked armor ability will deal damage to these high armored guys because you know they're really hard to take down in these kind of challenges ingvar is a pretty good hero in my opinion he summons some bears to attack he's really good at stalling high damage you know good health all that kind of stuff i, I really like him but you know he doesn't do magic damage obviously he's kind of slow traveling so <laughs> having to do a barbarian challenge with just this guy has proven to be a bit harder than i previously anticipated but, so far, with this new upgrade path, for our 15th attempt, we've made it to the Juggernaut. We've made it, man. This is crazy. On Veteran, only 25 upgrades you're allowed to spend at this point. And this is what worked. <laughs> I don't understand. It's been a bit baffling, in fact, but we take him down. So yeah, a total of 14 fails, maybe more. I yell at Kingdom Rizzi. So, this is how you'd always want to do it. And what actually worked is on the right. It's, it's just, <laughs> I can't believe we could beat this. Credit goes out to this guy. He helps me through a lot of these challenges, just picking his brain. He knows the wiki like the back of his hand. So yeah. We finally unlock Barbarian Hall. We can go all the way. So I'm feeling pretty darn good because these guys are really good. They do a ton of freaking damage. And I finally don't have to worry about the stupid gargoyles anymore. Spiders aren't really a problem because these guys can twist around and do area damage. I think 25% of the time or so. But it's enough. The spiders aren't that much of a threat, which is nice. Because in so many of these freaking challenges that I do, the spiders just ruin me. Especially if it's, you know, obviously a all magic challenge. Because they always have high magic resistance, which is freaking really annoying. But... Hey man, this level, I knew this was going to be beatable because I think when I did this in my just barracks attempt, when I could use paladins, um, the barbarians were just, they're just awesome, man. I think in this game, I think the wiki really does say that these guys have the highest DPS or single target DPS in the entire game, which is impressive. Yeah, they, they kind of die easily. They're not insanely fragile, but they respawn every eight seconds with all the upgrades, so... That's pretty fast, but on this level, <laughs> there's just a ridiculous amount of these high-armored guys. I'm down to 10 hearts at this point, and I was like, dang, I thought I was just going to breeze through this level. But it, it's rough, man. The demons explode every time you kill them and just wipe out all your guys, so that sucks. You have to time right your reinforcements and your meteors to take out the gargoyles, especially those red demon imps, because they have more HP, so... 
that's frustrating and they only throw their throwing axes every like three seconds i think but hey man we take it down we're on to the last level another failure <laughs> i don't think this one's gonna take me another 14 attempts but uh, i mean you never know look in the top right we always have these dark knights dark slayers whatever they're called and they have insanely high armor they have a great armor <laughs> they basically just only die from your freaking meteors i mean yeah my guys have really high dps so they can do a little bit but in general you need to hit them with like two or three meteors on veteran it's it's ridiculous i don't even know why i'm going out of my way to like you know not let my towers be disabled because they're barracks so they keep attacking even if it's locked up with the red laser beams that Veznon shoots out It'd be pretty cool if he could use those red laser beams to deactivate other things, like in Origins where you're using him as a hero. That, that's pretty cool. But, hey man, we got like a few skeleton knights, two golems, and then the boss. Now the boss is just going to one-shot everything. We know this. We've been through this before. So we got to keep some distance so we can throw our overpowered axes at him. I think Ingvar maybe can take a hit. Yeah, so he, he's able to take a hit right there which is pretty cool. And when he's in his bear form, oh, there he goes. When he's in his bear form, he's invincible. Nothing can kill him. That's that's amazing. Especially when I make it to the demon form that Veznon's coming up with here. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure he can survive that. So, yeah, there's the bear, man. There's the bear guy taking him down. We're just wrecking him. This challenge is done. Frick yeah, dude. We did it! Ingvar Barclaw! Yeah! So can you beat Kingdom Rush on Veteran with just Barbarians and Ingvar Barclaw? Heck yes. And if you're curious about the background music that I'm using for some of these videos, it's just me messing around on piano and singing with some auto-tune on, so that's just for you guys to enjoy because I love making these videos for you, so... Would you have even tried not spending upgrades the way that I did on the Citadel? This is how I do tea when I want to be extra awesome. One, two, three, four bags. I wouldn't have ever thought it. But, you know, thanks to my lovely Kingdom Rush community, I can get some help. I can get people to be like, hey, dummy, spend your upgrades differently, dummy. Okay? Just, just it, you'll probably win. Probably first try. So... Thanks to my buddy for helping me out for that. And, uh... I found Spider-Man the other day, so... He's definitely real. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe or something.